Good day learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about estimation. Now, first things first, what does this term mean? What does it got to do with maths? Well, estimation, as you can see at the bottom, is obtaining an approximate answer. So we're going to do some sort of calculation um, in our heads uh, just to get an approximate answer. We're not looking at getting the exact answer, but, you know, just a ballpark figure. Now, why do we use this? Well, it's useful when working with numbers, whether they be large or small. And we often use this when it comes to things like shopping, um, you know, trying to work out distance, trying to work out time. So here's a typical example. If I've got 34 and 67, and I want to just quickly estimate, okay, how much am I going to spend? We don't really want to worry about those decimals. We would express this as an estimate saying, well, it's 34 and 67, so it's around about 35 rand. Or we could look at the number like 2,118 rand and 80 cents. And in our mind, we would just estimate it around 2,100. Now, the reason we do this is because of examples like I'm showing you here. If I was to ask you to add 2,118 rand 80 to 34 rand 67, what would you do? Well, the first thing you're going to do is work out an estimate. There we've got our 35 and here we've got 2,100. Is it now easier to add the two together? Yes, it is. So when I add those two together, using my estimates, I now get 2,135 Rand. Now we know that's not the exact answer because we haven't included the decimals, but this is our estimate. We can also use the following as an example. If I was to take 109 Rand and add that to 6 Rand 85, how would I change that into, you know, some sort of estimation? Well, I'd probably change that to 110 Rand and this to around, you could see I'm going to round it up to around 7 Rand, which would give me 117 Rand. That is my estimated answer. Another example would be something like this. 999 multiplied by 11. So immediately I can take that and say, well, I can estimate that to a thousand. Multiply that by, well, let's not use 11. Let's estimate that at 10. And what's going to happen? That's going to end up being 10,000. Again, an estimated answer. 